Peace, love, and light to you, Capricorn singles. My beautiful, lovely Capricorns. My Capricorn siblings, because I'm a Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. I'm Butterfly Tarot. And it is I, the Butterfly. And I'm coming straight at you to give you this mid-June Mercury Retrograde reading. Right now, we are within the shadow phase of the Mercury Retrograde. It should be dropping on the 18th, I believe. I believe it's 18th. 13th or the 18th. I believe it's the 18th. Uh, so, yeah, we, you might be already experiencing some of these energies that are coming towards you. So, uh, I wanted to do this reading. Uh, if, if you are new to my channel, uh, thank you for joining me. Um, and if you are returning to my channel, Thank you for returning. I appreciate you. Truly, I do. If you like the content in this video or on my channel, like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girl. And um, remember, this is a general reading, so all things may not apply. Uh, this very well may not be your reading at all. and um, Or it might be a cross-watchers reading. But, uh, so keep it open. Also know that it's a general reading. It's not personal. And even with a personal you, I encourage anyone that I do. Um, I want to do that. Um, anybody that I give a, a personal reading to, I encourage them. I give them advice, but I encourage them to uh, understand that you have a certain amount of control within a reading. Okay, There are things that are going to happen. Oh my gosh, if I just keep shuffling, this stuff is just going to keep flipping out. So, <laughs> there's there's a lot going on right now, right now. I'm just going to leave that. Bam, there. I'm going to cut this deck because my deck is talking, it's screaming, it wants to tell a story real bad. And I'm going to end up having all the daggone cards flipped out before I can get into telling what's going down. Okay? So, we're just going to pause right there. I was trying to do the intro, and the story was like, I gotta talk! My decks get like that. Get, they get very vocal. Okay. So, who? what do we have here? Oh, boy. This guy keeps showing up. It's King Cups. Alright. We have the Five of Cups in the reverse, okay? So, somebody is very, very sad right now. They are in their woe with me. They are looking back on the past and what has happened or had happened between the two of you, okay? And they are feeling really, really bad about the situation. They feel like that they have no hope because they're focused on these three cups, but they are yet to realize that they still have these two cups, one for you, one for them, or one for you, or them, or one for somebody else, who knows? The crossing energy for this is that this person they want to come in to give you this cup of love, okay? Will of Fortune, and they're hoping that the Will of Fortune will turn in their favor. So you may be dealing with um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, can't, uh, the um, Devil. I said the devil. <laughs> One of us, <laughs> Capricorn, um, and a fellow Capricorn, a Scorpio, uh, a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I mean, everybody's here. The whole crew's here. We all here. We all showed up here. But this energy here, Scorpio, Cancer, and uh, Pisces, it is a masculine energy. This king cares a whole lot about you. He's a counselor. He's a teacher. He's artistic. Um, he will do anything for you. He's loyal. He's trustworthy. He's all these different things. And he has this big old cup of love for you. It got a cup of love for you. And this person is sad. Okay? They're very sad right now. And they are hoping that the, the wheel of karmic destiny will allow for them to have a new cycle with you. And that it will turn in their favor. And the desired outcome that they wish for, they will get. Okay? Bam. Past energy, Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is saying that this person in the past confused you. It's in the reverse. They confused you. 
devil energy is the overall energy of the reading okay it's saying that this person the devil in the reverse is saying that this person look at this card and when i look at this card it's like ah you know what have i done controlled by the devil attachment addictions um codependency um temptation obsession this person is telling me that they are stuck or no it's saying letting go of these different things like they're letting go of these different things but it's saying with this past energy of the ace of swords in reverse is that this person left you confused left you feeling like what the hell is going on here this person was not being truthful upfront and honest with you definite reverse definite reverse talks about something that needs to change but will not change what will not change the ace of wands the passion that this person has for you this person they love you a lot because the king of cups loves you a whole lot but the king of cups they hide their feelings they're not very vocal about their feelings they normally show you how they care about what they do for you but it's saying that this king of cups cares a whole lot for you and this king of cups wants to extend this cup towards you this is a king this is not a knight this is a king and they want a new passionate beginning with you but the thing is is that they believe that you've moved on six of swords because it's saying that with the six of swords the six of swords talks about changing your direction it could mean a physical move but it also talks about when you have made a decision to put something that was weighing heavy on your mind behind you okay something that that was bogging you down something that was just tiresome and a, it's talking about moving past a rough patch in your life make a con making a conscientious decision to move on this also can talk about moving overseas you can live at a distance from each other you know you could have moved to a different country or a different state or whatever where there's a body of water that separates you but it's talking about changing your your frame of mind and moving past this difficult troubled waters or maybe it is that this person wants to put the past behind them because the six of swords in the reverse talks about somebody who's dwelling in the past and lingering on the past something that should be let go of but with the six of of ah, six of one six of swords it's talking about um no to establish justice okay so it's saying that this person wants to there's something that's going on between the two of you that hasn't changed but the one thing that stays the same is the passion that this person has for you and this person mentally would like to put the past in the past and they would like to reestablish justice by you and it says and past energy you had the ace of swords so this person was confusing you and they weren't speaking truthfully that they had you in a situation where you didn't know where you stood you know with them with this double energy it talks about some trickery something dealing with the devil that was involved here but this person is hoping for the will of fortune to turn in their favor because they are very sad they are very sad right now they are very depressed they are very um they're just feeling really down and bad right now something happened between the two of you and with this devil in reverse and the ace of pentacles on the ace of pentacles ace of swords in reverse is saying that this person did some trickery in the past something that they did in the past energy because this person with the double card is saying releasing toxic behavior releasing this agony releasing these burdens releasing the things that were not healthy in your connection okay so what's about to happen Oof, nine of swords still stuck in that brain can't sleep at night what has happened between you and this person my dear Capricorns please say I'm recording oh yeah <laughs> look I have to check I've been having so many technical difficulties having to re-record videos and everything so I have to just check in and like gosh please let this be recording I don't want to mess this up I'm talking about I had to re-record so many videos because I accidentally deleted them or thought I was recording and I wasn't it's just been crazy. Mercury retrograde strikes again. 
So it's saying that this person is restless. You understand? This person is restless. This is what's about to happen. It's not changing. That's why that death card is there. This person is still sad and restless because they're not getting the resolve that they want. They don't want to be lonely. They, this is my, I don't want to be lonely. I don't want to see a day without you. Don't want nobody else in your arms. Don't want nobody holding you. That's by as yet. I don't want to be lonely. I don't want to see nobody laughing with you. Yeah, you have to look the song up. <clears throat> I ain't in single mood today. Well, I don't have sing voice there. Anyway, let's roll with this. Now, this could talk about the sea because the Ten Pentacles in reverse, it does in fact talk about the sea. You know, it could be like boredom and things like that. But it's saying that, okay, this person may have everything it is that they want in life, but they don't have you. They don't want the life that they are living. If they are single, they do not want to be single any longer. They just they constantly think about this they can't sleep at night you are constantly on their mind they constantly dream about you and it's like it's nothing this is what's about to happen so it looks like this situation is not changing what the hell did i just tell you golly eight of swords this person is in agony they are sad they feel trapped they are in agony they they just they want mm. They want you. This is terrible. But it seems that you're not going to come into union with this person. That the scales are unbalanced. It may be that this person does things for show. Because the Six of Pentacles in reverse can talk about an imbalance where somebody is doing, putting in more effort and more work than the other person. Or it could be that somebody only does things to be seen by others and not being their true authentic self. You know what I'm saying? What are they fearing? High priestess in the reverse. They are fearing that their feelings, their secrets, things that are hidden will come to the surface. That things that they hide will come into focus. That the high priestess, she's the keeper of the secrets when she's like this. When she, you know, she's Fort Knox like this. But when she's like this, she's like, and girl, another thing. And another thing. Where the secrets, the things that they keep hidden, they're, they're afraid that all their secrets, how they truly feel, and everything that makes them vulnerable will be exposed. You feel me? All right. How do others see your situation? Or well, their situation. Others is the people who are connected to the two of you. Or maybe just the people that are connected to the person you're dealing with. They see that you are not being open to receiving an offer from this person. That you feel as though that it's an unrequited love type situation there you possibly are not communicating with each other the pages are messengers that that means that the message of love is being blocked but what is it that this person wished for what is it that this person truly wishes for to the universe tell me what this person that capricorn is dealing with truly wishes for gosh these cards just be flying and jumping they want a new solid beginning with you. They want to start from ground zero. They want to start from ground zero. They want to start from the beginning. The aces, they are associated with the magician card. The magician is mastery and ability, and they have the full ability to succeed, okay? That's the magician. The magician card is the aces are associated with the magician. I can't even talk. The magician. The magician is the manifester. They would like to manifest a new beginning with you. They want to start from scratch. Before the aces, before the magician, it is the fool card and tarot, the major arcana energy. 
So it's saying that this person, they would like to establish something grounded and stable with you that they don't want, they don't want to, this person cares a lot for you. King Cups cares a lot for you. They, they're putting like, they're saying, saying that they're putting their past behind them. They want a passionate new beginning. You got two aces. But right now, you're kind of closed off to this person. Because it, it's something that you felt as though was in balance. And it's saying that what's about to happen, you're not giving them what they want. But they wish for this. They wish for that. Yes, they do. That's what they want. <clears throat> Whew. Gosh, geez. I swear. Listen. I pick up these cards off the floor and I swear, I swear by it, I swear that I just wish that they would just, I'm going to put it back because it fell sideways so I don't know which way it was, but I just want them to fall on the table. I try to shuffle over the table and they still fly to the floor. I'll be banging my head trying to pick up the cards on this table. So what is going to be the outcome for my beautiful Capricorns in this Mercury retrograde season with this person that wishes to come back to them this is all the energy all these readings that say they're gonna come back they're gonna come back it's just the energy of the time that we are in that's just what it is what is going to be the outcome judgment in the reverse looks like it's not gonna happen queen of swords you have your walls up high and you might have some ill words towards this person seven of pentacles but there's still seeds there okay you got some seeds all right so that might even though you got these walls up and this judgment has been passed like it's a no-go there's still some seeds there meaning that there's time invested history invested that there's still hope there that something may turn around in the end the outcome for this you and this person this person is stressing big time they love you big time. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Until then, they are going to still be unhappy. Oh, whoa, whoa. What's going on, Capricorn? My Capricorns? Wow. I'm just, you know, these readings are repeating themselves. So I'd be at the point where I'd be like, I don't even want to. I mean, it's just they're repeating themselves, literally. It just seems like they are repeating themselves. That this person is an unchanging situation. They are waiting for the will of fortune to turn in their favor so that they can shoot their shot with you. And also with the judgment in reverse. Let me let me pause before I go into this deck here. Let me let me grab these folks up real quick so I can talk about them. With this Queen of Swords in reverse, it talks about somebody who uh, is bitchy, uh, mean as all hell, cut you off, gossipy, but it's like no nonsense, whatever, you know, cutting out the bull crap, and sometimes she wears a thick ass mask, okay? With the judgment in the reverse, it's talking about this person, it's, they feel as though that you're judging them, that you have judged them, that you don't see them for who they are, you know what I mean? Like, because of this interaction with this devil card and this ace of swords, it's saying that this person feels as though that you have illy judged them and you really don't know who they truly are. But with that devil in reverse, that's telling me that this person used to have some devilish ass ways with them. And that they are hoping that the seeds that they planted within you, within this relationship, within the life cycle, whatever, they, they're that those seeds are still there right now now the sun in reverse could be self-centered energy it's, it, it doesn't have to be just an unhappiness the, the the sun card in reverse talks about somebody who is being self-centered okay let me see two of pentacles i'm just pulling the cards dropping something so maybe it is that the end it's you know because the sun in reverse can represent the ego it's, it's the sun is leo Leo is, is fire, passion, ego, and all that other stuff, you know, so it is that this person may be letting go of their ego, 
Woo, tower. Bam. This is a shocking wake-up moment. Y'all about to go through it. Or this person is going through it. Mm, 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 mm. One more. Seven of Wands. Yeah. Four of Pentacles. Okay, they're still holding on. Gosh, this person just won't let go. They won't let go. Even in spite of the tower and everything else like that, it would appear that they've given up, but there's still going to be a part of them that still holds on. With that seven of pentacles and that four of pentacles, there's still going to be a part of this person that will hold on to you. This person is changing, but one thing is that's not changing is how they feel concerning you. And though you may have moved on or they wish to establish justice with you, put the past in the past, it looks like some things just can't be undone. Self-worth. Oof. They hold you in high regard. They see your self-worth. They know that you know that your self-worth. And that they just can't come at you with the okadoke. They know that you have high standards and you hold yourself in high regard. And you're just not going through the business. And it's real funny. Okay, so self-worth is 32. But 3 plus 2 equals 5. And 5 in tarot equals conflict, struggle, and strife. Five of Cups, Sadness, Regret, and Remorse. Five of Pentacles, Out in the Cold. Five of Wands, Fighting and Arguing, Competition, Hateration. Five of Swords, Manipulation, and one up and shit, trying to win at all costs. Wow. So that means that all that stuff, they cannot try that against you. The only way they can come at you is to be pure, honest, and true. <clears throat> called numerology look it up <laughs> yeah yeah this person is stressed trapped what the hell I just said I said this person stressed and then trapped card comes out that's almost like on the lines of the devil in a way so I'm going to read from the book, the book. It says, my dearest sweet child, do you feel as if you are trapped in your life right now? Do you sense that you cannot do what you really want to do because, uh, to do because others have, uh, expectations of you that you may not be able to fulfill? Do you feel as though if you will never get what you want? Or go where you want to go. Isn't that what this reading is saying? Yes, it is. So this person feels as though they're not getting. That they're not able to get out of you. What it is that they want from you. Have patience. For truly you are temporarily prisoned. You are in a temporary prison. That exists within your mind. Didn't I get that eight of swords? Kabam! There you are. Bam. And that nine of swords too. Kaboom. Huh. Mm -mm. Your circumstances, no matter what they are, will change. Inevitably, they will change. No matter what they are, will change. And you will be free to experience the life you wish to lead. In these times, dreaming is the best antidote and of course patience consider the story of the half raven boy trapped in conflict until he finally follows his heart trust in trust in me for i will show you when the cage door opens so that you can fly free so this person feels trapped and they're waiting for you but it's saying inevitably all things will come to pass and things will turn around in, I guess, their favor. I don't know. 
There ain't no time on this truck. It's gonna be something. I wanna pop it. One more. Mm. Beauty. Oh. You might be dealing with somebody who's clairvoyant, vision, uh, beauty. They are beautiful to them. They know your self-worth. They, they see you, and they see that you know your self-worth. They feel binded to you, trapped to you, uh, with you. Vision. What is it that they envision? Half priests of air. Hmm. You're beautiful. You're beautiful, it's true. Yeah, that song. It says, you have drawn the symbol of Vampire High Priestess of Air, the uh, the goddess of rational thought. Sue so is talking about being rational about this. I, I, this kept coming up in other readings. Logical thinking, reasoning, and using your mind to consider the next action uh, are the qualities encouraged by the vampire high priestess of air? I guess the same vampire, vampire. I don't know what that's Vampire vampire. Uh, now it is time to think before you act. You are blessed with the wondrous mind of an imagination. Your ability to communicate is enhanced with your high uh, priestess of air. When the high priestess meets the priest, I mean, when you meet the high priestess of air. This is the moment to have reasonable conversation and to make calculated decisions. So this person right now is trying to be a strategist to figure out how to approach you. Right now they are scared out their mind. That's why they're not sleeping. They're not eating. They feel trapped. They feel they're, they're, they don't like the life that they're living. And they want to come back to you. But they're afraid that you're going to reject them. They're afraid to bear their soul to you. They would really like a, a new beginning. They want to start from scratch. They want to place the bricks down one by one. And they want to check out the measurements to make sure that this building will not fall. This structure will not fall. That's what they wish for. Alright, let's pull more, inf more information. More, more, more. different deck. <laughs> well, how'd I get in there? <laughs> I got swept up in the last reading. <clears throat> Daydream and decision. Aww. That's the seven of cups, but it also talks about somebody who dreams of you. I said, I'll be dreaming. Dreaming, hoping, baby, you will be there. Vanessa Williams dreaming. I think I was in the sixth grade. I don't want to tell my age. I was, I was, I was middle school when that song came out. Mm -mm -mm. Heart chakra. Eesh. This person's love chakra is on you. Daydream and decision. Aww. Oof. Love. Love it. They love it. They love it. Wow. This person loves you. I don't care what y'all done been through. This person loves the hell out of you. This is soulmate energy. Their heart is, is with you. They dream about you. Their heart is with you. Vision. Yeah. Yeah. Beauty. Self-worth. This person has high regards concerning you. They love you. Oh my gosh, they love you. Blossom. That's the judgment card. Oh, nurture. That's the empress. Oh, this person holds you in high regard. 
Capricorn! I just saw baby crying. Stop being mean, Capricorns. All right, I normally be like, don't take no steps, we Capricorns. Mount up. But this is sad. Uh, I want one more. This is full of so much love. This person knows your self-worth. They know that you're a loving, nurturing energy. They see you as the Empress. Oh, they have so much. You live in their heart, the heart chakra. They dream and decision, the love eras. This is soulmate, twin flame energy, all this stuff here. Aww. Stop being me and Cap I don't know what the title is. Stop being me and Capricorns, let them in. Normally, I'm like, play them. In the dust, dust. <laughs> but whoever it is you're dealing with, they care a whole hell of a lot for you, and they are in agony right now. They're in deep agony, and they can't stop thinking about you. You you live in their heart. Four fours talks about stability. The force associated with emperor, the emperor. The emperor is stability. The emperor is courage. The emperor is taking charge. And Tarot, you have the four of wands, the four of pentacles, the four of cups, and the four of swords. So it is it's a lot of energy of considering and the strategizing and holding on to and, and feeling regret and remorse and you know, missed opportunities. It has a lot to do with the emotions. The emperor is not one who displays his emotions but I'm saying that this is the heart chakra card and, and your chakras and the chakra of the heart is where love resides it is unconditional love so this person loves you unconditionally and they see you as their soulmate their other half their everything Take the lead. They are waiting. This is the three of wands. They are waiting on you. They are waiting on you. Alrighty. I'm going to stop that right there. Grab some more cards. And then we're going to be up out of this reading, my Capricorns. Oh my gosh. I'm tired of Stop being mean. Take, t let them talk. Take their asses back. I don't know. If y'all done hurt somebody's feelings, hmm? Huh? You done hit them with them horns. Oh, I pulled two. Only white one. Pulled two. I just felt the need to keep pulling. Do 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 do. <clears throat> so what we got? What we got? What we got? It. Soulmate. Love partnership, magnetic attraction between two people, union. You discover a deep sense of self through a relationship with another. That's that lovers called levels. <laughs> Ancient knowledge. There is a flame inside your heart, a light that stems from the dawn of time. Ooh, ancient love and ancient knowledge are being can rekindled. This is twin flame energy. Close your eyes, connect with and feel the loving wisdom you hold. Let it flow out from your heart and transform your life. Yeah, you may be done with a twin flame right there. These, these energies here. That is why this... Is something that does not go away. The journey. You are soaring to new heights. Experiment, play. Allow your spirit the freedom to explore new and exciting possibilities for you. Oh, please don't say stop recording. Why is my screen is dim? Hold up. Oh, it's still recording. <laughs> this is long. I <laughs> know it's 34 minutes into it. Um, I must have turned on the lighting on my screen. Uh, new, uh, da da da. 
New exciting possibilities for your life. Follow the rainbow across the horizon. A pot of gold awaits you. Moon god death. A time of necessary upheaval, a blessing in disguise. As the dust settles, the gift reveals itself. Place beyond time. Don't get so caught up with the everyday drama of life. Close your eyes, focus on your breath, and allow it to carry you into a peaceful space inside your heart. An eternal place beyond time filled only with love. Last one, alchemy. Your inner light shines when you are at peace with yourself and the world around you. Let go of the struggle and feel the beauty inside you. Allow all to just be and just be you. All right, you can't change the way this person feels about you, my dears. It is what it is. You are so tied to each other. It is up to you if you would like to allow this person back in your life or not. They definitely love the hell out of you. They hold you in their heart space. You are a beautiful person to them. They dream about you always. They can't forgive you, forget you. They feel as though that you hold their heart. You hold their heart, and they're waiting for the time to come for you to set them free. So that is my greeting for you, my beautiful, lovely Capricorns, for this month for Roger Bright. Thank you for stopping by. This is a long-ass reading. Damn, nearly 40 minutes. Time got away from me. I got swept into the reading. But um, like, comment, share, and subscribe to you, girl. Not my cappies. You have a decision to make, my, my lovely cappies. Base it off of the life that you live, what you've experienced, and what you will and will not decide to, to uh, deal with in your life. I'm not saying you should just accept any reading and go flow with it. I'm saying you still have a choice within the matter, and everybody's situation is different. Though someone may love you, they may not be uh, right for you. And as the will of fortune may suggest, it may be an all in divine timing for this to work out the way that it's supposed to, as these cards have suggested. Who knows? I'm saying live your life, be loving and free, my beautiful Capricorns. Love y'all. Thank you for sitting in on my reading. It was long, I know. It's going to take forever to load this one up. So I'm saying to you, peace, love. And light to you all. All right. Thank you for joining me. I truly appreciate you. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification button. Peace and so much love. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye.